nerf this! People of the world, this here is Jose, the Solitario. Welcome to this random video of uh, Heroes of the Storm. This is a Blizzard MOBA game. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this video is because of a really interesting match that uh, I experienced. Which uh, I would consider probably the most fun I've had in this game since Cho'Gall came out. Anyway, so we're out here on the Cursed Hollow map. This is a map where you grab tributes and make the whole enemy team forts and minions weak. I'm over here playing as Lieutenant Morales. And the reason I'm right here showing Zarya is because Zarya is going to be the main focus, kind of, for this uh, whole group of people. Like I can say we have uh, Alarak, Gazlo, and uh, for some reason I can't see the, uh, the other person's name. Uh, well, what are you what is it? Oh, Gul'dan. For? Okay. Also, as you can tell, this is post-commentary, which is something I've not tried before, but it's uh, worth a shot, I guess. So as I was saying, um, right here, as you can see, just about everybody is mid. The only one that isn't is me. So then I start coming down from here. You can see in the map and then bottom corner. And then we're just all together. Uh, I come around here, start healing people up. And then next thing you know, we just continue to push. This is 30 seconds in the game and we're just pushing right ahead. So I'm over here healing uh, as many people as I can. Zarya's giving out shields as much as she can. And then we just continue to push on, like, not giving a single bit about soaking experience because we're just trying to get our early advance in the entire game. Now, this is never the way I've always played the game. I've always just been, get to your lane, soak to whatever, and then whatever, then bam. We'll just continue on from there. And then this being the start of it, really different for me so as you can see we already got uh two kills and we're already like have a pretty good lead almost a level ahead we already took a fort down and we're here taking another cannon and uh chat over here pretty much going what's true how is is completely balanced but nah that's not the whole case you know not a lot of it at least so over here now we go to push on the beginning the gates of the keep which is the second in, in, inner structure of the enemy team. And then uh, we start backing up a little bit because I'm extremely low on mana. As you can see, I, already, I have 3%. Um, but Zarya, Gul'dan, and Gazlo getting a, doing a great job of keeping the front of it pretty strong. Alarag backs out of it, and then he goes away. And then Zarya lets people know when, people can use her, when she can use her abilities. Now we back off because we're completely low on mana, health, and we just need to... Uh, get ourselves ready to uh, actually defend after we did it uh, got a really huge lead we already got our next talents as you can see in the top four being the next talent tier for us now everybody goes ahead and back off to go back to their lanes and all that sorry he's here asking why do we stop pushing and then here's where she realizes oh that's right everybody else on my team I believe has mana and they run low about it and then uh, yeah it probably would have been a really good short game, but I mean, two minutes in, we almost took the, we took down with the gates of it, I believe so. But anyways, we have Alarak, and I'm here helping Alarak uh, clear a bit of uh, bot lane. Meriden comes and jumps in with Vol in the back back to help him out. We start breaking off so we can head to the tribute up top, which is um, nearby Lily and Gazlo. Zarya is right here, uh, clearing mid as much as she can. Why uh, is that Tracer? Uh, yeah, with Tracer. And, uh, wait, Gazlo's right here taking, uh, the top, uh, tribute. Lily's not contesting whatsoever. Nazebo comes in just too late. But, uh, the rest of the team still rotates top so we can, uh, help it. I don't come here to help save Gazlo. Alarak and Zarya come over here. And, uh, Nazebo's taken care of. And I actually push Lily away from my explosive grenade, which you can't see much. So, now we're here. To, uh, pushing a bit of uh, top f top fort and their gates with only Lili contesting with Vala coming from the background and yeah the reason I'm doing post commentaries for this well is because um, recording here's the storm videos is not like super easy for me like as you can see that the frame rate here is like actually pretty low not the greatest and here actually our Gul'dan leaves the game I don't recall why he just says he'll be back and then nothing and then next thing you know he's gone but uh, surprisingly enough, it does pretty well for us. Not cooldown leaving, of course, but 
we still do pretty well in uh, this push and wherever Gul'dan is. I think it's bottom lane, yeah. So we over here do a good amount of um, pushing and finish off the fort here uh, soon. If um, Not here. We're focusing. There you go. Zarya finishes it right there. Then we start to back off so we can uh, grab the tribute. Here's a bunch of uh, repeat pings going off. Yeah, we're still here. We go ahead and take down Muradin. Uh, try to take down New Zebo. doesn't work. Uh, I went back here for some reason. I think it's because my camera was on cooldown. And then they go ahead and get us killed. As in Zarya and I believe me. I'm not showing this here. Uh, Tracer's getting the tribute right here. And, uh, or at least about to. Yeah, Tracer's about to get the tribute right here. And then here we go. Fort Worth jokes from uh, Alarak. So instead of going against the, we decided to go ahead and take down, take the siege camp. And uh, here goes more with the jokes. Okay. So Gazla comes in here. I'm coming right behind them, and then to heal. Uh, actually, nobody. Wow, that on me. There it goes, healing Alarak, and then just taking that there. Zarya's clearing up bottom lane, and then we just go here, finish up the siege camp, and then we all leave together. Uh, a pretty much half a level lead above the enemy, the enemy team. I'm catching up pretty quickly. We go over here to Nazibo, uh, who's solo by himself. Gul'dan baits him in, and then over here, me and Alarak just pretty much finish him up. Thanks to bot Gul'dan for not even paying attention much. Best part about being having a bot. So, uh... Enemy team starts rotating a little bit up, but we have to end up going down down for the third tribute for us. Third tribute in the game so far. Gazla is ready to position for it. Zarya is coming up right behind him, followed by Tracer and Vala of the enemy team. Alarak shows up here, so we are here to give a wall for it. Meriden comes over here trying to net, but Tracer goes ahead and almost interrupts him, but Gazla will be interrupted by Vala. Gazla goes back into trying for the tribute, and Zarya right here tries to help off uh, Gazla. With ult ready, I go ahead and give Stim Drone ready to Alarak. Oh, we're doing a good amount of siege damage. And we start dealing damage to the bottom fort. Got those positions to keep safe. Got uh, Alarak misses his counter strike. But Zarya is still attacking the mid fort, giving her shield, and then the fort is down. Meriden is also dead, somehow. Guys, I was ready to uh, take up uh, top the tribute with Vala thinking, but ends up dying. Gul'dan backs up because his AI sense is telling him to go ahead and heal and nonsense. While the rest of the team is pushing ahead on bottom gates. We go here and kind of surround Meriden. Doesn't do well. Nazeba almost dies, but doesn't do well. Uh, Lily ends up dying. I don't think that's from Counter Strike, but Nazeba goes and dies from um, Alarak's Q, which I don't recall. Discord Strike. That was it. So here we are dealing insane damage to the gate while Gul'dan heads to the tribute. Alarak getting hit by Tracer's Pulse Bomb, but Gul'dan right here comes up and saves. Uh, collects the tribute, not saves. And now we're ready to continue our push into the to the bottom keep. Here we go, dealing, destroying the enemy team's fountain. Nazebo attempting to do any damage, but Zarya shields us, and I go ahead and give out the shield bearer. 
I don't remember the, the name of the ability. So Lily comes in here with blinding. Tracer comes in to try to take out the back line, especially on me. But then Tracer ends up recalling because she messed up. Lily's just come out. We end up killing Vala. Uh, where's Gazzle? Gazzle's in the mid lane. Okay. So I'm running low on health over here, so I tried my best to back off. Zarya thanks to his shield. Kind of helped save me. Then Tracer misses Pulse Bomb and ends up hitting a uh, minion. So that was luckily for me, even though Muradin came here to attempt to kill me, but didn't work. In the meantime, that's going to end up revenge killing Muradin and Tracer. And now they're after Lili while Gul'dan and Gazzle push mid. And I'm just dead. <laughs> So here we go, dealing uh, damage to the bottom keep, and that's gone. Mid keep is already gone. The bottom tower is gone. Alarak gets a shield from Zarya, and then we, everybody continues to push in more for a little while, as the curse just ends right now, and the whole team's actually split. We end up getting another kill on Vala, but Zarya is really low. Luckily enough, she gets she has her personal barrier up and ends up getting away from everything, except for Tracer, who comes into blink in. Then I over here make a comment about how if I had Medivac, I could have gotten there easily, but that doesn't end the case. Gazla comes here, ends up doing damage to Tracer. Tracer throws out Pulse Bomb, and then I'm lucky enough to save Gazla, just by bare margin. In the meantime, the whole t uh, Gul'dan's ready to... Uh, Gul'dan was about to go ahead and attack the AI, but I ping him here, which you can't read, but ends up going, follows me to go ahead and take the siege camp right here. Zarya announcing that she's gonna get give double shields now. And then we go here and take down this siege camp pretty easily. Now we make our way to the bottom bruiser camp. Oh man, you can actually really see how bad the frames are. But we take this down pretty quick, thanks to uh, Mecha Gaz. I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, so we decide to end up going for a boss here. As you can see, Zarya, been let's do it anyway. So we go ahead and get ourselves ready. And we actually do pretty insane damage to it it's pretty fast. Over here, already on half health. While the whole mid, the enemy team is on middle. So here we go, boss is already taken down. We go ahead and cap it. Now the whole team decides to go ahead and push with it. Since the enemy team has absolutely no keeps. Zarya over here ends up getting hit by the zombie wall. But we still manage to capture the lookout point for some reason. Uh... Zebos, Gargantuan dies pretty quickly. Alarag slightly going for Muradin, but then goes away. So we continue on to the team fight here. As you can see, Zarya's personal barrier is shielding a good amount of us. I'm caught in between everybody and die instantly. Alarag survives Tracer's Pulse Bomb, but we end up getting a kill on Lili and then Muradin. Soon followed uh, the Zebo. If uh, he'll do it on here. Zarya uh, actually getting a kill right here on uh, Vala. Then the whole enemy team continues to push. Gazlo in the middle of the zombie wall, but luckily enough, he actually doesn't die. Never mind. Zarya is really low, and surprisingly enough, still decides to go in, which I wouldn't blame her. Nazebo is really low on health, and the boss is doing core damage. Sadly enough, Zarya misses, but she soon nails uh, Nazebo right. Uh, yeah, Nazebo right here, and then we decide to finish up the game right here. Definitely one of the most insane games I've had and but also extremely fun especially since this week i've had a lot of trouble with the games just like people talking trash and all that and then here we have our zarya of course getting mvp and then zarya makes a joke here about let's teaming up even though we don't so almost the entire of our team gets up there except for me because support doesn't get love I'm just kidding. But, uh, of course, um, Zarya gets a good amount of points. And then Azebo just gets one from the enemy team, most likely. 
two from the enemy team. And then that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and I'll hope to see you guys another time. Until then, later.